Day seven, gravel dumping day. This is an exciting day. I'm gonna get this project completed and maybe I can sit on my ass the rest of my days off. But I won't. I try to, but it never works. Let's see this gravel. Well, now I have some raking to do. And I'm looking at that, wondering if it's even gonna be enough. Damn. Coco's doing her measuring too. Good morning. Day eight of staycation. I have to show you how fabulous this uh, rock is from Highway Fuel. So this rock is self-leveling. Look at it. I have done nothing to it. They dump it, and it just levels itself out. It's magic. And if you believe that, I have a bridge I'll sell you. My neighbors came out here and did a whole bunch of work on it. It was great. I took the night off. But I'm going to finish raking it a little bit. Get that pile down. And my dog probably ran off. Now she's all right. Hmm. She has FOMO. You know what that is? Fear of missing out. My energy level is doing very well. So it looks like it takes about eight days to get work out of my system. And I go back in four days. Well, I'm gonna get this little area right here of concrete. I'm gonna pressure wash it. This part right here. And my little paper rocks need it too. The dog is gonna go crazy. Apparently the entire time I was fighting my dog to stay away from the pressure washer, it did not record. But that's fine, I don't want you to see how she's so unruly. So just enjoy the nice pressure washing without interruption. I see spots I missed. Backyard, no one's gonna see it but me. Couldn't get anything done with the dog out there. But um, once I was done pressure washing, I thought, okay, I'll let her play in the hose. So I took the hose off and I was spraying it in the grass. She wanted nothing to do with it, nothing. She just wants that pressure washer. It's interesting. Okay, let's see the after shot. Jeez, I forgot the dog off of it. Okay, looks better. Mm, she's got to come right back. A few spots I miss, but it still looks a lot better. My paper rocks are pretty shiny. I lost quite a few rocks. Pressure washing them, but it's all right. I drank an entire pot of coffee to myself. No one's home. My son's camping. My husband's at work. And the coffee's gone. <laughs> Whoops. So because I have this wood stack so high, 
my gate doesn't want to open. So I want to put a little, the little door notch here so I can open it both ways. I'm going to try doing that on both sides. There's going to be math involved in this. Hmm. More math. That across is 34 inches. I dug my little trench. So I'm gonna go cut my board and make it fit in there. I have no idea what I'm doing. I just I'm just putting boards together and digging, and who knows if it's even gonna work. So I'm sporadically changing to another location because there ended up being a lot of sun in that area and it was getting warm, so there's shade out front. I'm gonna cheat a little bit with my driveway cracks. I have some leftover paver sand from the pavers that I put in um, back where the hot tub is. I'm gonna Pour that in here and then you just kind of mist it with some water and it hardens. I'm going to see how that works. Um, can't make it any worse than it already is. We'll leave it overnight and see what it looks like. But that was a lot quicker than what we did last year, so I really hope that works. I wetted it down a lot to really get it in there. If that works, that's a game changer. Okay, I'm tired. Um, when I find myself lagging, buffering for momentum, then it's probably time for me to quit because I'll end up hurting myself, falling on my ass. Oh, you want to see my, uh, look at my blister. It's starting. That's all my, my heat blisters. It's going to be a big old water blister before I know it. At least it doesn't hurt though. All right, that's all for tonight. And um, let's see, tomorrow's Saturday. So we'll see. I'm sure I'll do something in the morning. It's always nice and cool in the morning, and I have my most energy, so we'll start something else tomorrow morning. Okay, have a good night.